and now I'm going to teach you how to draw a handprint giraffe. So I'm going to bend down my middle finger and I'm going to put my giraffe on the side, going sideways, diagonal on the paper. You could do it like this if you'd rather your giraffe to go in that direction. Um, so I'm going to tra begin by tracing my arm and my fingers on the side of my hand and back down my arm. The next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to draw little triangles in here because these are the ears. This here are the antlers. Two eyes. You can make your eyes however you want. I chose to make my eyes like this. I'm going to give them eyebrows. You don't have to give eyebrows if you don't want to. And I always put that little glare on the eye. So that's why I did that little glare. Then, down here, this is the mouth of the giraffe, and you need a nose, and then of course your giraffe's going to have little spots, and you can make your spots however you like your spots. I'm going to do my giraffe the traditional colors. If you want to do yours wacky colors, that would be creative if you prefer that. I have markers and crayons. If you don't have markers and crayons, you can use markers or crayons, or you can use colored pencils. Or if you want to be really creative, you could paint your giraffe. Um, just because Mrs. S likes to trace everything first, I'm going to trace my giraffe first. And I'm going to leave the antlers because I'm going to trace them actually in brown. Like I said, you don't have to make yours like mine. This is just the way that I opted to do mine. Flip in the marker. I'm going to draw my antlers and I'm going to make it a traditional giraffe. So I'm going to trace these in brown. And I do get off the line a little bit. That's okay. So will you? You can always go in and erase those pencil lines like I always tell you to do. And I'm going to trace the inside. My ears red because I'll color them pink. My eyebrows, trace them in black. And then my eye, I could pick a color if I wanted to. Maybe I want blue eyes for mine. I'm making a blue eye giraffe. Now remember, you still have a white of an eye, so you shouldn't color the whole eye blue. And then, like I always tell you to do, go in, erase your pencil lines. Um, if you have a fancier eraser at home that's not the back of a pencil, you could use that. If you have to use the back of a pencil like me, that's fine. Now you need to think about what colors you want to do your giraffe. I did say I'm doing mine traditional colors. Um, if you wanted to do your spots different colors and make your face a rainbow, you could do that to make it a little more creative. And then I'm going to color inside the lines. And I'm going to color my antlers the same color as my dots. So I'm going to finish these antlers. And I like to color in the same direction, like I always tell you at school, to color in the same direction. So it's nice and smooth. And I have to color my dots, like I said. And then I'm going to, after I get done with these dots, I'm going to get the pink and color the ears, the inside of the ears. Now 
when you're finished with your giraffe, I did not make a background on my giraffe. Maybe I'll make a background so we can post what the background would look like. But you could do leaves in the background, you could do a sky, you could do a fence, like it's a giraffe in a zoo, um, trees, whatever you prefer for your background. A sunset would look nice too. It's like a safari sunset. And then I need to get my pink. And then I'm going to color my giraffe yellow. I'm not going to color it on the video. I'm going to show you a picture of my finished yellow giraffe. And then I will post a picture later of the background. Thank you for watching.